Hi, my name's Sam Wainwright. I'm the Socialist Alliance candidate for Fremantle. And I want to briefly explain how the preferential voting system works and why we think you should vote for Socialist Alliance before Greens and Labor. In Western Australia, we have two chambers of parliament, the Legislative Assembly divided into 59 districts and the Legislative Council divided into six regions. Although the system is slightly different for each, both use the preferential voting system. Now under the preferential voting system, you get to number your ballot paper, indicating your most preferred candidate through to your least preferred candidate. So for instance, you could vote one Socialist Alliance, two Green and three Labor. And in that situation, if Socialist Alliance gets knocked out, your vote would then pass on at full value to the Greens. If they get knocked out, on full value to Labor. So under the preferential system, there's no risk or cost in voting for what you want. In fact, it's a waste of your vote just to vote for the lesser evil in the first instance. To do that is just an endorsement of business as usual. So what are we putting on the table? After all, we share many policies with the Greens and even some with Labor. And in places where we're not running, we endorse a vote for the Greens ahead of Labor and Labor before Liberal. Nevertheless, there are some important proposals that only we are campaigning on. And these include land rights for Indigenous Australians, for Western Australia to be net zero emissions in under 10 years, for 30,000 new public housing dwellings in four years, for private residential rents to be pegged to CPI, for strategic monopolised sections of the economy, such as banking, utilities and mining to be brought into democratic public ownership, and for sustainable transport solutions as the real alternative to both Row 8 and the Outer Harbour so we can keep Frio Port. If you vote for Socialist Alliance, you help us put these proposals on the political agenda. Unlike the Greens and Labor, we don't believe that capitalism can be truly democratic, meet human need, or go green. As long as the major decisions that affect our lives and the future of the planet are made in the corporate boardrooms and not in Parliament, we can't say that our society is truly democratic. Furthermore, capitalism is incapable of turning around the ecological crisis. In its quest for infinite growth on a finite planet, it will always seek to externalise the true cost of production onto society and to the environment. We have to break with this economic and social model if we are to stop runaway global warming and create a better world for all. It will take the mobilised people power in our communities to break this system and to create a new society. By voting Socialist Alliance, you make a contribution to that process.